Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Priscilla and today I'm going to be showing you the basics of designing for Roblox on Pixlr E. So first off, I just want to say sorry if you can hear anything in the background. Uh, my brother and his friends are playing outside right now, so hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. But anyways, let's actually get started. So as you can see, I am on Pixlr. Pixlr E is an online application um, for all devices and it's 100% free. So just if you want to go to Pixlr, just go into your browser and search up Pixlr E and then click here. And as you can see, this is all of my projects so far. I make my thumbnails and I also make my clothing on here um, and just create your own accounts and yeah. So then you want to load in your template and I got my template from Bless Jenna. This one specifically is from Bless Jenna. I'll link it down below, but you can also get it on Roblox. So I will show a clip on how to do that right here. So as you can see, I personalized mine to have my own name and background on it, and I can do a tutorial on that later on in the future, so let me know in the comments if you want to see that as well. This template can be used for making shirts and pants, but not at the same time. So for example, if you want to make a shirt, this is going to be the torso area and the neck and the back and everything like that. And this will be your arms, where this is the shoulders, this is the hands, and then these are all your arms. And for your pants, this is going to be your waist. So like, if you want to make a high-waisted pants, it'll start from either this green line here or this green line here or in the middle, somewhere between there. And then the pant, the legs will be here. This is your left leg, this is your right leg. And then the bottom would be your shoes. So now that you have the template and you understand what it is about, let's get started on actually using the tools and all the features Pixlr has to offer. So on the left-hand side, there are a bunch of tools tools and on the top there's a bunch of other kinds of types of tools here and then on the right side here there is a place where you can navigate where to go like if you zoom in you can move this red box and drag it around if you want to move it a different place and then here is your layers so if you want to make a new layer let's say you're going to make it an empty layer so if i draw something on here let's do, do that um i can drag this layer underneath the background layer like that and it goes right underneath the background now this symbol right here means lock so it means that you can't move that layer so if even if i used if i to try to move my uh, background it won't work but if i unlock it go here and here i can move it around like this to delete a layer all you have to do is just click these three dots here and delete layer another thing you can do with layers is that you can uh, increase and decrease the transparency by doing this to merge layers you can just click the top layer and hit command six on your keyboard and now they are merged so you can't change one individually so down here is your history and as you can see it shows all the things that i did and if i just press Control z or command z it'll just go back to a previous history so like if i just press command z it shows that up again. So now let's talk about some of these tools. So you've already seen me do some of the tools already, like the arrange tool. If I can just move it around and like that, I can arrange something. You've already also seen me use the brush tool and you can change your brush size and even the types of brushes you can use, like right here. Um, you can change the size, softness, and even the step. And as you can see, this is the outcome. And of course, if you want to change the color, you can just go here and let's say I want to do a blue color. And I can also do that as well. And I can also use the arrange tool to move it around, make it bigger or larger. Bigger or larger. Another tool I like to use is this tool called the marquee select. And this is a tool where you can, if you click the right layer first, um, drag a box across something over an image. And then you can move the box around just by moving it around, dragging it around. But then if you use the arrange tool with it, it can actually move that image apart from that, as you can see right here. And this is the erase tool right here. It's just the eraser. And again, you can change the brush size here. Let's do 10. I can just erase it like that. So if I want to delete this right here and I don't want to delete the entire layer, I can just go to the marquee select, drag a box across everything and just hit delete. And that just deletes what's inside and it keeps the layer as well. Now, if I want to fill a box with just one color, then I can make a box like this and click a color. Let's say I want to do a light blue and then I will just use my fill bucket here and just click inside the box and it just fills everything right in for you. So that is the basics of the tools that I'm going to be using. I will be using some more along the way as I do a demonstration on creating a shirt. 
So when it comes to design ideas, I like to go to one of these three resources. The first one is Brandy Melville, and this store is really good to use because a lot of their pieces are basic and easy to make, as well as having a good plain background if you want to screenshot a pattern and use that to your own advantage. Yes Style is another brand that I like to look at because it has good clothing and trendy clothing, but it also has it has these pictures with white backgrounds, so you can erase that layer on Pixlr, and it's a lot clearer to see the image. And of course, there's Pinterest, and there's a bunch of different styles on here, and they're obviously really trendy. And so yeah, so the shirt I chose to make is this cosmic shirt here. And the reason why I chose this is because I actually have the PNG form of this image here, and I'll link it down below if you also want to recreate this shirt. It's also a really simple black t-shirt, so let's get started. So back at Pixlr, I'm going to make a new layer, and I did that just by clicking the plus sign and empty, and drag it underneath your background layer. Then using the marquee select tool, make a box around how much fabric you want your top part of your shirt to have. So because it is a crop top, I'm going to be making it right about there. And as you can see, I'm going to try to make it perfectly in between, oh, it is perfect, between the red and the green. And that's just for personal preference, honestly. And then I'm going to choose a black color in my color select tool, and it's like around here. Then fill it in with your fill bucket tool. Now we're going to do the same thing, but for the sleeves. So it is a short sleeve shirt. So I'm going to be making the sleeves ending around there and fill that in as well. So that is your base layer. I'm just going to be renaming this layer to base just to make it a little bit more clear. So now I'm just gonna be uploading my PNG image of the Cosmic logo, this one right here. Um, but if you don't have it, or if there's another shirt you wanna recreate but you don't have the PNG, um, you can just screenshot this image, the logo, and then go onto Pixlr E, shrink it down a little bit, go to the scissors tool here, and then click Magic Mask, and I'll increase the tolerance a little bit. And I'm just going to be clicking on the black layer. And boom, look at that. It's It made a PNG for you. So you can just <laughs> use this and put it like right here. And now you have your own Cosmic logo. I just find that the PNGs are a lot more clear and easier to use. So I'm just going to pull that up right now. So I just uploaded the image and I'm just going to resize it to make sure it fits the way that I want it to fit. So now I'm just going to be making the neck hole. So I'll go to your base layer. And I like using the lasso tool, but you can also just use your eraser tool to just make the neck hole. But today I'm going to be using the lasso tool here. And then I'm going to choose Bezier. So I'm just going to be zooming in here. And I like to make the neck hole really big because normally neck holes, if you make it small, the neck on the avatar kind of cuts through the shirt so yeah make sure to make your neck hole pretty big so i'm just gonna be clicking a dot right there and then clicking somewhere else and then moving the mouse to create a curve and also click when you're done making the curve so it just like stays like that and then repeat that step to complete the rest of your neck hole okay so as you can see it this neck hole is not completely centered so before i click delete i'm just going to be moving and dragging this a little bit to the right now you can just press delete on your keyboard and it makes end the neck hole for you so now i'm pretty much done with the whole shirt if you want to add some details or anything like that like maybe um some shading or whatever that's completely up to you but since this is a beginner's design i'm going to be saving that for another video but now i'm going to be showing you how to upload this onto roblox Go up here to file and click save and i'm just going to be naming the shirt to cosmic black tea download it and then go to roblox.com and then you're going to want to click create so if this screen does not show up to you if this is your first time creating a shirt then somewhere around the middle or something it's going to be saying manage games and then you're going to want to click that first then click shirts and click choose file and select the file that you just downloaded and then open and then click upload so if you are uploading to a group you will see a tab here in create that says group creations i believe and there you can click the shirts and then follow the same procedure i just showed you earlier so roblox usually takes about like 10 to almost an hour of just looking at the image and making sure that it is appropriate i'll be back once it is uploaded okay guys let's check out the shirt so this is the shirt. I kind of wish the logo was brighter, but other than that, it is a plain black t-shirt. So how you would configure and upload this is you would click these three dots up here and click configure. And then here you can name your shirt or clothing piece, whatever you want. So I'm just going to keep with cosmic black tee. And for your description, you can just write whatever and then save. And then to put it on sale, you can click sales and click item for sale. Robux does take 30% of your earnings. So if you make five Robux, you make a profit of around three Robux. So keep that in mind when selling. Then you can save this.
And then on this screen, you can go here and click add to profile. And this will just list your clothing piece right in your creations tab of your profile. So that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying till the end. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. Let me know in the comments what your group is and your profile is. If you are selling clothes so I can go check it out and maybe buy some myself. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.